so much to do, so little time. But yet, I can still find the time to see the beauty and just walk around in the garden and contemplate about life. And the garden may not be beautiful as of now, but it will be. Once all the flowers are fully in bloom and all the green is chartreuse and dark evergreen, I compiled a lot of footage that I took this week for shorts and such and I will compile them into one video of all the things I've been trying to get done, which is not much. I'm being honest here. I'm not complaining. I'm just being honest. And this is supposed to be chartreuse right here, but it's not. Anyways, the pansies are still here. The strawberries are still here. They have not been plugged in yet. I have been taking pictures instead. <laughs> the raindrops are really gorgeous, but I couldn't seem to capture them. I think I need a new camera. I try. Good morning, indecisive gardener. I'm gonna put some sweet peas. We are going to use this trellis here. It's actually my daughter's, but she had to move, so I have it now. And we're gonna put the pea seeds in here. It's a cute little bucket. These sweet peas are from Hudson Valley. Look at this beautiful picture here. I love their artwork. Planting space is six inches. I'm not going to go with that. It's good to freeze them in the freezer before, unless you're going to have a frost, a freeze before they germinate, which they like. It's called cold stratification. I will explain later. And I'm just going to put six little sweet peas in this bucket. Oh, I need one more. Doop. Cover them up. And it's been raining, so the soil is already moist. Each day of the week, I'm going to be planting a few seeds here and there of all different types of crops. Um, don't take my word for that. It didn't quite happen this week. Once the dogs fix me up, I will be able to get back to schedule. So here I just set down my, my phone and make a short of all the birds chirping and hoping that something will show up, like a squirrel or a bird, but I don't think it ever does. But anyway, I'll go on to doing my chores and I will show you that too. Here's the old seeds from 2015 to 2022. We have old broccoli, asparagus, yes, I put in a different word, that's what my husband calls it, uh, chard, and cabbage. And look, there's an asparagus. I still have a lot of old seeds to sow, by the way. Looks like some uh, broccoli got into some broccoli got into the asparagus area in the wrong row. Same here. Actually, I think that's cabbage, and it is going the wrong direction. Um, I went both ways. Boy, did I go the wrong direction? And then we have artichokes. Fun. They're so pretty when they bloom, but you have to pick them to eat them before they actually get to bloom. And then wasabi arugula. Looking good. I thinned them out some. I'll thin them out a little more. And hopefully 
We will get them planted tomorrow. Never happened. But I'm really enjoying the birds chirping in the morning. Just something about the feeling. It's so tranquil. So full of life. So full of God. Can I get it in? Let me put it in. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. Mr. Macchiato is always so thankful. He's a good bunny. Miss Chai is the brat. Darn airplanes. Ew. Fish fertilizer sure likes to foam up. That is sure a long ways down for a jacked up back. Just trying to figure out how to do this. One handed without moving my back too much. It gets interesting at times. Mmm, all that ooey gooey fish goo. Fish fertilizer is wonderful for nitrogen. It is a balancing act. Anyone getting excited about the elephant garlic here? Can't wait until July when I start harvesting. And the stories I get to tell my mom. They came from her, you know. And we'll fertilize the cabbage because they are almost, almost there forming. And I really want them to form before it gets hot. Because in Oregon, it gets hot overnight. Normally we have April showers that bring May flowers, right? Well, last year, we had April snow, April showers, and 85 degrees, where all the lettuces and the flowers and everything decided to bolt. And this year, just so you know, these very kale already started forming buds that I had to pinch off. But they're doing fine. And it's raining again. We must do something with that goo. We cannot waste it. Sorry, still no critters. Anywho, I want to check in on the in-ground garden to uh, see what I need to do here and what is coming up. I am making a worm farm bin over here in the original compost bin. What I'll do, I already got stuff in there but I will take this grass out of the garden and flip it upside down. There should be worms in there already and they will get to work. You can get freebies out of your own yard. You shouldn't have to buy worms. At least not here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm gonna end up harvesting that. Let's do that. Do I? Hey, what the hey? And then I see it. Oh, that's so pretty. This is a wild violet. Even the weeds are pretty. 
that reminds me, I need to do something with the water system so I have it ready to go. So, what is this stuff? It grows pretty little pink flowers, so I leave it every year, but it's becoming more and more of a nuisance in the yard, all through the yard. This stuff, too. And over here, those are my weeds besides morning glory, of course. Are they edible? Are they forageable? Let me know. All the broccoli I had sowed, um, a whole bunch came up, but it's gone. Probably eaten by critters and slugs. And look, more strawberry plants. We'll put those in the green stock here soon. With the other ones that I already pulled up out of this in ground garden. Because here, I want to put cabbages and chard and spinach and if the slugs will let me and maybe I should just put them in the green stock. Uh, I hate those slugs. They're a nuisance. Of course, got grass and dandelion weeds. <laughs> we gotta clean up still. Just time management. It's, it's a thing when you have one day off at a time. And, you know, you have one day at a time and, and it's raining or it's windy or it's cold or you screw up your back or you got editing to do or, you know, whatever. Life happens. And that's why I am dreaming of someday to just live out here. I have to retire. Not so fast, Stacy. I got 10 years. And that's another question. Will we have Social Security in 10 years? The way the world is going today, and they've been talking about this, that it's going to be in the future, or they keep using up our Social Security for extra things. Um, I think they're lining in their, you know, pocketbook. But anyway, um, you know, people, us Americans, like me, I have a family member who only gets $400 a month. She is elderly. She cannot work. And uh, so she has to depend on welfare too. And, you know, thankfully, she has a little bit of a nest egg. But for those who don't, I mean, you think about us, the rest of us, and them, and what are we going to do? I mean, you know, yes, please, please uh, save up and have a little nest egg yourself and you should be okay, but that's easier said than done, especially these days with the prices of gas and the prices of groceries that are astronomical. Um, that's another reason why I went to Homestead. So. There's that. Let's use the rest of this goo, this fish foam, and fertilize some more. That's some good stuff in there. Anyway. Well, I'm just weaning this video, steaming up my camera here. Um, a lot on my mind I tell you that I don't want to you know piss anybody off um, kind of easy to do nowadays and uh, but I'm just being me 
and having a thought process while I'm out here in the garden because this is where I do my thinking. So, um, yeah, crazy world, you know, and working in retail, I see a lot. <laughs> I see a lot of theft. I see just homelessness and fentanyl and you know right I'm in the thick of it I'm in the middle of it it's right in front of my register um I gotta keep an eye out and if I don't catch anything and report it I'm in serious trouble and if I do try to do something I'm in serious trouble um, there's some things just being a cashier I could get fired for another reason why I don't want to be out there in the world anymore I want to be here I miss the good old days I miss the freedom and being whimsical and just packing up and going on a road trip and I miss uh, family who have all run to red states and here I am in Oregon where there's talk about them using satellites to pinpoint my garden and rabbits and here I'm supposed to be getting chickens in the next couple of months and is it going to be taken away from me? Because they're saying even as backyard wannabe homesteads are going to be affected. Maybe. That could be fear mongering. I don't know. But time will tell. I know crows. I know. Trust me, it's on my mind. To be open and honest with you, I'm a bit worried. I wouldn't say I fear. I have the Lord. He will take care of this story. Because he wrote this story, well not this story, the politicians did, but he will fix it. I have faith in that. And history tells that it will be fixed. There will come a day again where we have some rest. And we will become complacent, but is that really a bad thing? Let's not, uh, water the camera. Hmm. She's okay. My phone is okay. Well, that's enough for my back. And that was very little. I do have some camellias I want to share, though. Are you showing off? Are you showing off? Yeah. Hey, you. Got your stick. Got your stick. Gotta rip that up. So, you'll see, there's a lot of sun damage on this. A few years ago, we had 115 degrees at 116 
and a lot of my camellias and my rhododendrons and my azaleas, all of them got sun scorched. But they're still trying. And if there's anybody out there that knows anything, let me know what I can do to revive and get some of the green back. I do fertilize it. But I would like to know like when to fertilize it and you know what I can do if I need to prune it. It's so beautiful. Regardless of its damage. Look. A little bud. Freedom. Hi honey. Hi, honey. You just, you're going to back me up, aren't you? Let's go back in. <laughs> anyway. Oh, another prompt to video. Oh, and dogs are trying to take me out. Okay. Anyway. Have an awesome day. I truly mean it. Even though everything around you is crazy right now, there is still hope and, you know, beauty in the world. Just look for the positive. Look for the um, other side of the story. And like right now, the peonies are coming alive. Oh my goodness. Another mess to clean up with weeds, but la la, those are peonies. Be a beautiful pink right on the other side of the fence of the protege and the mess to clean up. Lovely. This yard needs a lot of work. Hey you, get out of there. Come on girls, let's go inside. Come on. Let's go. Thank you. Remember to plant kindness to grow love. God bless and have an awesome day. I think I already said that. Anyway, until next time. Thank you. See ya. Oh, on another note, I had to. I couldn't help myself. I know exactly where she's going. Over here. Ah, another mess. Lovely. Around the corner. <laughs>